Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to say thank you for coming in my fashion session and my partner. Uh, it's great to see you all. Okay, let me introduce myself and my partner. I am Afif Rahman from class Informatik 2 Generation 2019 from University Amikom Yogyakarta. Uh, my student number is 192704. Hello, my name is Muhammad Rafif. My student number is 19112726 and I'm from class Informatik 2. My name is Yusi Amelia Prastika. My student number 19112725 and I'm from class Informatik 2. My name is Novanda Ari Praditya and my student number is 19112695. And I'm from Informatica too. Okay, first step is the installation of power supply, which we do is drag and drop. Is power supply into the casing? Uh, make sure its position is correct, right? Then we attach the run to the motherboard. And do not forget to hook the RAM socket hook. Then do the same thing on the other RAM. After that, attach the CPU to the CPU socket, then close the hook, then place the thermal compound on top of the CPU. After that, attach the heatsink, then press the hook the heatsink so it doesn't come off. And don't forget to attach the heatsink cable to the motherboard. Then we attach the motherboard to the PC casing that has been provided. Then attach the NIC to the motherboard and don't forget to install the screw. You must put loop and IC wireless and fasten it with screw. Put the video adapter and fasten it. Next, put the hard disk drive and fasten it. Put the optical drive. And put the floppy disk. Don't forget to check out the screw and tighten it. Okay, the next step is uh, cabling. Cabling for pin of PSU to motherboard, and then install the power cable. Power cable from PSU to motherboard, and you have to be carefully about the key of the cable pin this will be a right position and after that install the power cable of PSU to the CD room and also install the power cable of the floppy drive from PSU and don't forget to install power cable for hard disk and we can use a SATA cable 
for connecting uh, motherboard to hard disk and pata cable pata cable for connecting uh, cd room cd room to motherboard well next is then have a floppy drive connect with the cable floppy floppy cable uh, to connect to motherboard and floppy drive and oh yeah don't forget to connect to SATA cable or hard disk uh, for the fan for the fan we have to connect the 3 pin 3 pin cable to the motherboard and make sure that uh, everything have been installed correctly uh, after that close the close it by the casing with correctly after all of it we can install the monitor cable monitor cable uh, will be installed to CPU and the next is the install PS2 socket first the socket to connect the keyboard and computer and also PS2 socket for the mouse the next step is uh, Ah, USB cable, USB cable to connect to USB external to CPU. The next is uh, Ethernet, Ethernet cable, Ethernet cable to connect the computer and internet. And also, don't forget to install the wireless antenna. And the last one is install the power. And now this uh, has been done, and computer can be used. Uh, thank you for your listening. May all those we have shared be benefit for all of us. Okay, see you next time.